Srivasa's niece, who was only four years old. Her name was Narayani. She was just sitting peacefully in a corner of the room. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu cried out, Narayani, chant Krishna's name and cry in ecstatic love. And little Narayani called out, Oh Krishna, oh Krishna, oh Krishna. And tears just erupted from her eyes, profusely soaking her body. Her limbs trembled and she fell to the ground, just crying out, Oh Krishna. When the devotees saw that, they understood the power of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He gave the ultimate perfection of Prema Bhakti to a four-year-old girl by just chanting the name of Krishna. And then Sri Thakur, he got up, he raised his arms and started dancing. And he said, My Lord, I give up all fear. Even when you come as the supreme destroyer of the entire universe, and as time personified, I see that you are destroying all the 14 worlds. I will raise my arms fearlessly and chant your holy names. And then Sri Thakur, with all of his servants, maidservants, friends and relatives, saw Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu manifest his Vaikuntha form. And Vrindavan Das Thakur explains in this connection, just see the power of a Vaishnava. Anyone who serves a Vaishnava, anyone who pleases a Vaishnava becomes so dear to the Lord. Even the servants and maidservants of Srivas attained the ultimate perfection of seeing the Lord of Vaikuntha before their eyes. This is something that even Brahma, Shiva and the greatest yogis cannot see. There is no higher religious principle than becoming dear to the Vaishnavas. So this Narayani is the mother of Vrindavan Das Thakur. It is said that Sri Thakur's elder brother, Sri Nalina Pandit, and his wife gave birth to Narayani. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would regularly give her the remnants of his food. Sometimes Lord Chaitanya would personally, with his own hand, feed this little girl the food that he had eaten. And therefore, little Narayani became famous throughout the entire Vaishnav society as she who receives the remnants of Lord Chaitanya. When she was young, she was married to a great Brahman who came from Sri Hatta or Silate. His name was Vaikuntanath. She became pregnant. While she was carrying her child, her husband passed away. She was a widow and the child was born. That illustrious child is Vrindavan Das Thakur. Some say he was born in Mamgachi. Some say he was born in Kumarahatta. Narayani, who was only about 15 years old at the time, she was a young girl and a widow. But in Mamgachi, she was given shelter by the most compassionate devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Vasudev Dutt. She would take care of Vasudev Dutt's, help him with his deity worship, and perform so many nice chores for him. And Vasudev Dutt protected and cared for Narayani, and especially helped to raise little Vrindavan Das. So Vrindavan Das Thakur was in that environment of Srivas Thakur, of Vasudev Dutt, and all the Vaishnavas. This was the association he was raised in. And it is said that he was the last disciple who was initiated by Nityananda Prabhu, personal associate of Nityananda Prabhu. And Lord Nityananda Prabhu ordered his disciple, Vrindavan Das Thakur, to write the life story of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he took that order as his very life and soul. According to historians, Vaishnavas, Vrindavan Das Thakur took birth, I believe it was about four years after Lord Chaitanya had already taken sannyas. And as a young man, taking the order of Lord Nityananda Prabhu on his head, he went to a place called Denur. Denur is not very far from Katwa, where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas. And there he made his Sripat, or his Bhajan Kutir, his home. And it was there in Denur that Vrindavan Das Thakur wrote Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat. Yo. 
you were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.